First, I'm gonna do a little prayer to protect everybody watching this video just in case so you don't get scared and I don't get scared too. So, Lord Jesus Christ, please protect everybody when they're watching this video. Let them have faith and don't be scared because we are all strong. All right, now, Padre, Hijo, Espíritu Santo, amen. Okay, hello everybody. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna tell you a story. Mwahaha. Welcome back to my channel. It's not, today's not a makeup tutorial. I know, right? What the heck? I thought that I would talk about the scary ass nightmares that I have. Um, <laughs> I never like to talk about them because, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never seen a ghost. I don't wanna see a ghost, but I don't knock things down. Like if somebody says they saw a ghost, I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> or like demon. <laughs> So that really scared me, but it's just a pizza guy. It just scared me because right when I said demons, it. <laughs> I don't. If somebody says that they, you know, believe in this, I'm just like, okay, cool. Like I don't. I'm not going to argue when I haven't seen it myself, and I don't want to see it myself. So if anybody's hearing, I don't want to see anything. Thank you. I've had scary dreams since I was little, and I mean everybody has, but I feel like me, I've had really, really scary dreams. And um, I remember I would tell my dad and stuff, and he's like, stop watching scary movies. And I'm like, I'm not. But I feel like my imagination is just so strong that when I go to sleep, it like creates crazy ass things. And for some reason, they're scary. So um, I'm going to be talking about just a few of the top scariest dreams that I've had that I remember the most. I was going to say that I have this feeling that every time I'm in a nightmare, a certain type of nightmare, I know like it's a dream and I'm like oh you better fucking wake up right now and I tell myself like wake up in one two three and I always go one two three and then I wake up but I always feel like I'm in a certain place and I'm not in the same place in my dream but I always have a, a feeling a familiar feeling that I only get in nightmares I don't get them in regular dreams like if I just dream that I'm at the mall or something I don't get that oh my god this is a dream I'm in, I'm in the dream world like I don't get that feeling even though I technically am in a dream world so um, some dreams aren't scary they're just weird Okay, so this dream I had, I remember I was like in, um, um, I don't know, I was, I was probably in middle school maybe, so maybe like 7th or 8th grade, and I remember I had this dream and it was so scary, and I woke up and I had to sleep with my mom because I was like that scared, but uh, I don't know why I dreamt this. Just to let you know, it's like gory, but I don't know why my brain thinks of this, I'm not a psycho, <laughs> but I do want to make a movie and I want to make a scary movie, and that's just one of my goals in my whole, um, that's one of my goals, but I'm going to tell you right now why making a scary movie scares me. But I'll tell you that later. I'm really bad at telling stories, oh my god. So, um, I... Okay. So I had a dream that I woke up in like a dirty motel and all the lights were like dim and stuff. And it was just dim. And I looked to my left and there's a girl with no arms. Like her arms are cut and her legs are cut like above the knee. And she's like bleeding. And she was just like, like, you know, like dying. And, um... I look at her and then she's like, look over there, look over there, something like that. It's very, like, I don't write these dreams down because I don't want to remember them, but I still do. But she says something like, look over there. And so I turn around and there's like this like demon and it looks like a, it looks like one of the aliens from Alien vs. Predator. Yeah, it was like so gross because it had like a head that like, um, like went really forward. <sighs> like its neck was really long and it like extended, right? And it was black and slimy and nasty and it like... For some reason, at that point, I was like against the wall, and it was in front of me, and it, it said something to me, and I remember I woke up right then and there, because I was like, get the fuck out of here. And it said something like, I don't remember what it said, I don't know what it said, because it wasn't English, but it said, I can remember how he said it, like in the way that's like, like the rhythm of it, it was like, <sighs> he like whispered it, but he was like, <sighs> Da -da 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 -da. like, yeah, it's just, you know when you, you see something, you can't explain it, but yeah, that's, um, that's how it sounded. I don't remember what he said or if it even was English, but that's how it sounded to me. And I just remember being so scared. So then I had, a, I had another dream and I was probably, yeah, I was already graduated high school. I don't know why it matters, but yeah, I was an adult is what I'm trying to say. Um, so maybe like I was 20 or 19 and I had a dream. It, this one was like such a long dream. It was so weird. Okay, I had a dream that, it was like two different, you know you, are, you have two different types of dreams but in the same exact night, so you're like, were they connected? I don't know. But it was one dream and it was really scary. So I was in the library 
and for some reason I was like in Japan and I was in a library like by myself studying and I just remember like having a really really bad feeling and then the lights started to flicker and then I like looked at myself in the mirror and I was like crouching I like, looked at myself in the mirror and um, I don't know if it was me or not it's so weird I don't know if you guys have ever dreamt this but you don't know if the person is even you because when I looked in the mirror I don't know if it looks like me Maybe it was a Japanese girl, because I just remember think, knowing, like, this is a Japanese setting, like, this is Japan. But, I don't know, maybe it was a Japanese girl, or maybe it was me, I don't know. But it was like in a, in a, I was in a school, me or the Japanese girl, I don't know. I was gonna say me, because <laughs> it was my actions, like, when I looked in the mirror, it was my actions. Um, like, I could do whatever, you know? And I was in a Japanese school uniform, and I remember looking at the, uh, looking at the mirror, and I, like, crouched. And I just kept staring at it, and then it was like a girl, like, it was just, it was a creepy girl. Like, it was all, the lights went off, kind of, but I could still see in the mirror. It was like me looking at a reflection of a creepy girl, like, it wasn't me anymore. And I was like, oh my god, and I'm like, is that me? And so I was, like, crawling um, from the right side to the left side to see if it moved, and it would. And it was just like a creepy, like, you know, like, the grudge and stuff, like, like, it was that. And, like, I would crawl to the right, and she would crawl to the right, and I'd crawl to the left, and she'd crawl to the left. And I was just like... Oh my god, fuck, like, oh my god. And the lights just went off, and then, um, I don't know if I jumped to the other dream that I had that night, or if I woke up. I don't know which order it was, but that was that, that was the end of that scenario. And then I had a dream that there was a girl, I wasn't even in this dream. I had a dream that there was a girl in, um, being held captive by frat guys in their college dorm, and, um, she was, like, naked, and I just knew that they were, like, assaulting her. And she was trying to get out, but like, she was like, their prisoner. And they were making fun of her, like, haha, yeah, we can do whatever we want. And then she ended up jumping out of the window, which was on the very, like, seventh floor or something. And she jumped out of it and she died. And that's it. And then I woke up. But I'm like, why did I dream that? <sighs> it was just disturbing. It wasn't scary, scary nightmarish. So sometimes I have, like, sleep paralysis dreams. And... Thank God it's not as scary as when I wake up and I can't move, but I see something in real life. It's not really like that. It's, I'm like, it's so weird. It's like, I'm in my dream and then I know I'm asleep, but I like can't see, like I can't open my eyes, I'm like this. And I can't move, but I know I'm like half awake, half asleep because I hear the things that are happening in the dream or like I feel the things and then I, I can't move at all. I'm literally like, I can't, I can't talk. I'm like, mm, mm. like I try to get it out and I can't. Like, I remember one time I fell asleep with the radio on, and, like, in middle school or something. And I remember it was, like, a Beyonce song, and I, and, um, I was dreaming about something, and then I couldn't, I just remember being, having my eyes closed, not being able to move, and hearing, like, whispers next to my ear, like, <sighs> and I remember I was so scared because it sounded, like, demonic. Oh my god. I'm getting anxious for no reason. Oh my god, stop, you're fine. Yeah, anyway, I heard, like, whispers in my ear, like, Shh. Like, I don't know, it just sounded really scary, like a bunch of voices. And, and I remember being like, get up, get up, get up. Like, but I couldn't, and I couldn't say anything. And then I finally like was like, okay, you're going to get up in one, two, three. And that always works. I don't know why, but I, it would always work. So I'm like, one, two, three. And then you like, I jump out of bed, you know? And so I jumped out, and then I saw my radio next to me, and it was like playing a Beyonce song. And I remember being like, I'm going to turn that shit off, and I'm scared. <laughs> Like, there was this once where, so I remember I was in my room in this house, and I dreamt about, like, a black entity. Like, it wasn't a man, it wasn't, I couldn't see his face, it was just like a black, it was like a guy, but he, it was like a shadow, like a black entity. And he was, like, um, trying to, like, move me or something from the bed, but I remember, like, I knew I was in my bed, and he was, like, trying to, like, drag me off. And I could have sworn he dragged me off the bed, and I was, like, my, my head was on the bottom and my legs were on the top. And I could have sworn I was hanging upside down, but I couldn't move and I was like, ugh, ugh. And I remember thinking like, okay, my cat's here. I'm gonna try and say, Bella, Bella, maybe like, and it's like, I knew, I knew I was kind of awake and asleep, but I don't know, it's weird to describe it. But I was, I remember trying to be like, trying to say my cat's name, Bella, so that she could like, I don't know, jump on me or something. And so I just remember being like, Bella, Bella, but I could, I could feel it like dragging me around. Like I was like getting dragged around like a fucking mop. And then I like was like, get up, get up, get up. And I said, one, two, three. And I woke up and I was just, I was in my bed. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't upside down or anything. I was in my bed, but like my cat was literally like staring at me like this. Like my cat was like next to me, just staring at me. 
I remember one time I dreamt, uh, why am I laughing? <laughs> I dreamt that I was in a house that isn't not familiar to me at all. And usually um, I dream about either my old apartment, this house, and that's pretty much it because it's like those are the two prominent places I used to live. But anyway, this house I don't recognize it. And all the lights were dim, of course. It can't you can't never have no dream when everything's bright and sunny. But yeah, so I, we're in a dimmed ass house. It was like gray, you know, like those depressed movies. It was all gray. And I was in the bed of a room. And I remember I was just in there and um at first I didn't feel weird about it. I was just like, yeah, I'm here, like <laughs> and then um there was a closet in there and I remember me knowing that there was like dolls in there that were moving and I was just like there's dolls in there and I remember telling my mom like screaming to her because she was in the living room and I was like mom the dolls in here are moving but like I wasn't scared I was just telling her um, and then she's like no they're not and I'm like yeah they're moving like they're in there walking around and I'm like and then I was like I need to prove it so I went in there um, I didn't go in the closet but I just put my hand in like this like I just put like this is a door and I put my hand in right into the darkness because it was pitch black in there and I remember just being like touch my hand and then it, the doll touched my hand like this and I just remember right then and there I had a horrible feeling I was like get the fuck out of here <laughs> I was like no no like I don't know why before I was like yeah dolls and then when it touched my hand I was like hell no and I was like, no, I need to go, I need to go. Like I felt I felt like a horrible feeling in my chest. And I was trying to go to my mom to my mom in the living room, but every time I would move, I would be in the same spot. Like I'm looking here and it's like my room. I would turn around to go and it was like my room. The same exact like I would move and it was like I was in the same exact place. I could not like get out or anything. Um, and so I was just like, fuck, like, it was just so scary. I was like, get out of here, get out of here. And so I like closed my eyes and I'm like, one. And I was trying to call, oh wait, before that, I was trying to call my mom, but I can never, and I always call my mom in all my dreams. I'm always like, mom, but I can't say, I can't yell mom. I'm always like, like once my dream realizes I'm scared or which, once my brain realizes I'm scared, I can't talk anymore. I'm like, M -m 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 -m. and I'm like trying to say it so hard and I can't. So I was like, M -m 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 -m. and I was trying and then I just like, um, I was like count to three bitch. So I was like one, two, three, and I woke up and I jumped up and I literally yelled mom and that is not the first time that I've like got up and like mom, you know, or saying something else. And I remember, I think that time my mom came to my room. She was like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "Oh, just a nightmare." But most of the times, nobody hears me. <laughs> They're asleep. There was one that used to really freak me out because I used to work at a Earthbound. I used to work at Earthbound, and that's a whole other. I actually made a story time about it a long time ago, and I ended up not posting it. We thought that store was haunted, and there was just a lot of things that happened in that store, like creepy things that we were like, "Oh, like." This store might be haunted, but I never saw anything. It was just little like, who moved that? Did you move that? I didn't move that. Ashley moved it. You know, just like shit like that. I had a dream that me and my coworker were closing the store. And, you know, it's creepy when you close the store because you turn off all the lights and then you can only see the silhouettes of like the tables and everything, but that's it. And it's just creepy. And I always want to get out every time I close, every time I did close that store. So um, we closed the store and um, I guess like the lights turned off and we couldn't turn them back on and we were all the way in the back break room trying I'm like trying to turn them on in the breaker and it wouldn't turn on and then I saw like a little girl like with long hair like running throughout the store and I remember being like holy fuck like no and it was just like so scared so we like we were like oh my god and so we went to the back and we were like huddled in the back even though it was all pitch black and we could just tell the girl was getting closer and so she was getting closer from the regular store into the break room and then she was like and I remember just thinking, I have to ask her, who are you? Like, what's your name? Who are you? And it like, it was, she was getting closer and closer and I couldn't, I couldn't say it. I was like, who, who? Cause I got scared again. So I was just like, who, uh, uh, who? like I could, it wouldn't come out. And then I could just see her like come in and I couldn't see her face, but it was just a black silhouette of a little girl with like long hair. But she was like, you know, all creepy, walking all creepy. And then she got in front of us and she was just like she, right in front of us. And I'm being like, bitch, you gotta say it right now. And I was like, who are you? But and then I woke up and I like woke up screaming, who are you? So that, I remember that one really, really scared me because I had to go back to work. Oh, oh my God. And during the dream, a song was playing and I was not listening to the radio, but I forgot, oh, I forgot which song it was, but it's a song that always played in Earthbound at work. So just, it felt too realistic. I actually, that in that dream, I didn't think I was in a dream. I dead ass was like, this is real, <laughs> like this is real. Um, just because I would close that store every day and I'd always be like, I'm scared, you know? And that song always played, so in my dream it was playing. And I remember I got, I was so creeped out. And so I didn't, I never told anybody anything. I was just like, that's creepy, but I'm gonna get to my coworkers. And then one day my coworker was like, yo, um, 
I'm like she was like I'm a spiritual type of person. <laughs> um, she claimed she was like really spiritual and stuff, and she was like, um, I'm telling you right now, there's like a ghost of a little girl in this store, and I was just like, why? Like, why do you think that? And she's, I forgot why she said it. Like, she had a reasoning, but she was just like, yeah, like, um, somebody told me a little girl, like, she said some a little girl died in there. Oh my god, why am I laughing? It's not funny, but I'm just laughing because I'm like, it's probably fake. But she was saying how like a little girl died in there or something, like her heart stopped. She had a heart attack. Something like of those sorts. And then I told her, I'm like, yo, I had a dream about a little girl in that store. And she was like, oh my god, what if you're a medium? And I was like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to. This is the last dream I had, the most recent one that I woke up scared, frozen. Um, I had a dream that I was in my room right now, the one I live in. <laughs> I was in that room, and it was at night, and I opened my blinds, and I saw two people, like, having sex outside on the sidewalk. And I remember thinking, like, what the fuck? Fuck? like and it was like um, a black guy and a black girl and like I was just like what the fuck are they like why are they doing that and I remember like I called my friend I think I called like my cousin Nubia and I was like yo there's like two people outside like having sex on the sidewalk outside of my door outside of my window actually at that point it wasn't a scary nightmare I was just like what the fuck um concern you know like why are two people doing that and so then um I for some reason I wasn't on the phone anymore and I like look in front of my bed and there was like the lady with the, the lady that was having sex outside but it was her with clothes and like a baby and the, it was like a toddler but I couldn't see their faces they were very blurry I was just remember I just knew they were at the foot of my bed and I was just like oh you guys are here now and I wasn't scared I was just like okay and I reached my arms out like this the lady, they didn't say anything but I was just like like just re I didn't say anything either I was just like like reaching my arms out for the baby for her to pass me the toddler and then like I remember right when she passed she like passed me the toddler and I like she was still very far from me but I could like um like hold her hands so she was still very far but I was like holding her hands and right as she touched me I knew like I was like oh my god I need to get the, I need to wake the fuck up like I got scared like right when I touched her because I remember feeling her I was like this is a real baby like I fully thought I was awake I'm like oh shit there's I'm not I'm not dreaming this is actually like a baby and then like the baby was starting to walk closer to me and I remember I still couldn't see its face it was like just a blur and I felt like a really bad feeling and I, I said stop stop and then it stopped and I just remember being like don't let this baby get close to you like what the fuck it even is that what is it why is it walking towards you like why is it in your room like this is scary like it it needs to leave and so I was like stop and then I point to my door and I'm like go and I'm like go go and for some reason my voice wasn't like Ugh. like I could actually talk which like made me feel better because I, I was like pointing and I just remember like if you point and you're confident and you tell it to go it's gonna go so I like pointed at my room and I was like go go and then um I woke up and I w woke up yelling go I was like go go <laughs> and I just felt like so gross because I'm like oh my god like this is this, like you wake up in the same exact room that you were dreaming of like it just creeped me out. I had to turn on the TV and like watch a show. I was like, all right, I'm gonna watch the show. <laughs> me and my cousin wanted to make a movie and I basically made up a story called Dark. Well, we were thinking Dark or Dark Eyes and we might change it, I don't know. But we, I don't want to give it away in case I do make it, but basically I've been writing the script for it and it's starting to get creepy, you know? And you know, I don't know too much people. So me and Nubia were gonna play the two lead roles and I was, me and my cousin. And we were gonna, you know, find my friends and stuff and see who wanted to be a part of the movie. But right now I was just writing the script with me and Nubia in mind as the two lead girls. So I've been writing the script, but it's been really creepy. Little things, creepy things have been happening, but not a big deal. I was washing my laundry in the laundry room and I, um, the laundry room has the garage door connected. Um, I'll insert a video here. I was making doing laundry and I go back to my room to get another load of laundry and then when I come in the door leading to the garage is wide open and you know the garage is like pitch black so I was like Ugh, like you just come in and the doors open now and it's like dark in there and I was just like Fuck, like I just got creep, I got chills, and I go to the living room, and I'm like, Mom, did you open the door? She's like, no. I'm a goofy-ass bitch, so I'm gonna tell you, like, for sure. I was like, Mom, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. She's like, why? I'm like, because I, like, went to get laundry, and came back, and the door's open, and I'm creeped out. I'm scared to even close it. And then I had a dream that night. Because I got creeped out, I had a dream that I woke up in the middle of the night, I went into the kitchen, and all the doors in the house were open, like, my, my, um... The backyard door, the front door, the garage door, and the, the door leading to the garage, like every single door in the house was open 
and it was pitch black outside and I remember being like holy fuck close it close it something's gonna get in like we have to close all the doors right now and I just woke up and that was it tell me why that same morning my mom was like Alejandra did you leave the garage door open and I'm like what and she's like the garage door like not the door leading to the garage but the actual garage door it was open all night she said that when my stepdad woke up in the morning to go to work he's he saw the garage door was open and I was like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, what do you mean? And she's, I'm like, mom, you're kidding. Like, stop. She's like, no, like, I'm asking you right now. Did you open it? And I'm like, why would I open it? Because my car is in the front. We don't use the garage at all. There's a bunch of crap in there. So my stepdad parks outside and I park outside and nobody opens the garage door ever, basically. So we were like creeped out because the door was open all night. And the same night I had that dream. So I texted my cousin. I was like, what the fuck? And she's like, oh my God, that's creepy as hell. So yeah, and I'll tell you what happened to my cousin, um, her, we're still writing the script and everything, and she has a, a, a heart mirror that's like this big on her door, and she said she came back and that it was cracked right in half, and that she asked like her sister like, did you break it? She sent me a picture, I'll include it right here. And yeah, it was like just her, it's just her mirror cracked out in the middle. And then she texted me and she was like, we're not writing the scripts anymore. <laughs> I don't remember what scary dream I had, but I remember I had a very, very scary dream one night. And the next day at work, a nun came in and she was selling rosaries. And she's like, hey, do you, I'm selling rosaries for $10. Do you want to buy one? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> because I was just like, I need Jesus. I was so scared. I said, yes. It was just like, it was the next, it was exactly the next day. I was like, yes, I need it. So I bought it. And then she was like, do you, is there anything you want me to pray about with you or for you tonight? And I was like, please pray that I am safe. <laughs> I was like, just pray that I'm safe from anything. And she was like, okay. And she, she was really nice. But I still have that rosary hanging right above my bed. And um, yeah, when I have nightmares, I'll like get up and I'll like grab that rosary and I'll pray. And I'm like, Lord Jesus Christ, protect me. I know you love me and I know I love you and nothing can hurt me. And I have no fear because I feel like, I don't know if these things are real or not, but if you have fear, then you're um, a very good subject for it and so you can't be scared of those kind of things and you have to have faith so even if you're not religious I'm honestly not religious I don't go to church or anything um, I've been to church when I was younger but that's just not who I am I don't believe in some things honestly but I grew up with this I grew up with you know la bendición and me and my dad did it every night my grandma does it and I do believe in the power of faith so um, I do believe in Jesus Christ and I believe in power of faith so like I said, I believe in the power of the rosary that I have. I have faith in it. So if anybody is getting having bad dreams and stuff, I recommend that you get something that you have faith in. Okay? Alright, so <laughs> not trying to be creepy, but anyway, I hope all of you guys have great, amazing dreams, and they're positive, and they're amazing, and they're filled with awesome-ass fantasies. Okay, bye!